With much fanfare, China announced their $124 billion grand plan. We will build ports, roads, railways, airports and power plants in the countries of Asia and Africa. Called OBOR, O-B-O-R or One Belt, One Road. But the Indians are not happy. Their main concern is over a section of the CPEC, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, that passes through Gilgit-Baltistan, a part of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir, POK. It is our sovereign land, and if we accept the CEPC, it's like disowning our claim to POK. For China, which imports 7 million barrels of oil a day from the Middle East, the CPEC is of strategic importance. Right now, the oil travels all the way around India, through the Strait of Malacca, and then on to China. The land route makes it much shorter and cheaper. More importantly, in case of any conflict with the US, a blockade of the shipping route will force China to their knees. But if oil continues to flow through the CPEC, China can still counter a military threat. China and India, divided geographically with a natural barrier, the Himalayas, historically never had much to do with each other. However, the relationship between the two countries have been edgy since India's independence, and they even fought a war in 1962. Over the disputed territory of Aksai Chin, which is controlled by China, but considered by India as part of Ladakh. And over Arunachal Pradesh, as China does not recognize the McMahon line. As recently as September 2016, the Chinese People's Army intruded 45 kilometers into the state. Both countries have a similar kind of history though. Both have really old civilization. China's Xia dynasty spanned 470 years from 2070 to 1600 BC. India's Mohenjo-daro civilization existed a century before, from around 3000 to 2600 BC. But in the last 200 plus years, both nations were subdued or ruled by foreign powers. China losing Hong Kong to the British after the 1839 Opium War, and Korea and Taiwan to Japan in 1895 and Taiwan to the Dutch once before in the 17th century. India was ruled by the British for 200 plus years. Both have recently rediscovered their mojo. China rising to fame as the factory of the world in the 80s and 90s, while India rose to prominence as the techie nation. China is India's largest trading partner and in 2016, bilateral trade between the two stood at $70 billion ahead of USA and UAE. Both are included in the BRICS BRICS nations and considered the two most important markets in the emerging world and believe their time has come. But China, who have never recognized Taiwan as a separate nation, appears to have territorial ambitions as well and has been increasingly flexing its muscles in the region. Looking to dominate the South China Sea, they recently occupied the disputed Spratly Islands, on which they have built missile silos and aircraft runways clearly advertising their militant purpose. The Philippines protested with the International Court of Justice in The Hague. We agree with the Philippines. China has no right on the Spratly Islands. China, however, refused to accept the verdict. In the United Nations, China has repeatedly used their veto power to deny the arrest and repatriation of known terrorists to India. In 1997, the British honored their 99-year-old agreement by returning Hong Kong to China who promised to retain the island's independence with the phrase One nation, two systems but have not been living up to their word. They do not accept the Dalai Lama or the Tibetans as independent people and have border problems with Sikkim, Bhutan and Nepal. Just as China wants a one China policy with the world, Modi told the Chinese Premier Follow a one India policy with India. India made their one India point by not attending OBOR. But that will not stop China going ahead with their plans. This was Limerick. China is making an economic corridor that passes through Kashmir's back door. But the Indians aren't pleased because that land's taken, not leased. Now there's little they can do short of war. If you like this video, share it with your friends and become Bizbo's friend by subscribing for free to Bizbo's YouTube channel. Come, let's discover the world together.